Welcome to the annual summit of E4S, joint initiative of the EPFL, the University of Lausanne and IMD. We have an incredible asset on which to rely, which will enable us to achieve this vision, is a large and complementary competence pool across our three institutions. At E4S, we have very, very ambitious goals and a very ambitious vision, right? If I try to actually summarize this vision in a nutshell, it is essentially about contributing to invent, right, the world of tomorrow and to transform the economic system we are in in order to make it more sustainable, but also more resilient. We believe that we have no choice but to transition to a more inclusive and resilient society within the limits of the planetary boundaries. It is a great promise, but it is also a great deal of work. There are many things that need to change simultaneously in order to push us from a linear equilibrium into the circular one. Every year, we produce the equivalent of the mass of the global population in plastic. And the issue is that we recycle only 10% of plastic. The humankind will have to take out of the subsoil for the next 30, 30 years as much minerals as we have ever taken since the beginning of humanity. I believe that by 2050 or 2060, we can build a net zero economy and continue to enjoy the standard of living which one enjoys in the rich developed countries and indeed bring the rest of the world up to that level. You know, I'm always amazed when I look back that it took me almost 32 years to actually, un, you know, confront the word mental health. You know, mental health is really a community problem and it will take a community to solve it. Some of the ways that we learn today about doing that are through generating awareness. Awareness in yourself, but awareness of what to look for in others. Being a psychologist myself, these are topics that are dear to my heart, obviously. <laughs> and um, I'm really happy that we can give the voice, uh, because that's one of the things that you mentioned, it's important to give voice to the students. It's wonderful to have a younger group, to have people who have the ambition and the drive to contribute to a better world. And of course are in the process developing the skills to do so. There's still a lot, a lot to do and also a lot to imagine. So I really think that's also the force of maybe our students to come in to, to corporations or to any organizations to, to have this imagination um, with us. The situation is quite dire and we can only conquer it if, if we do it together and with imagination as this guiding light towards a brighter future.